Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. So before we begin this video, I would like to talk about an ebook. This ebook is on data structures and algorithms, and uh, it also has 15 plus HR questions. So if you're preparing to become a software engineer, if you're wanting to be, uh, go and sit in an interview, then obviously data structure and algorithms is important. But even HR questions is important because sometimes we won't know how to answer. So this book has both of them. 90 plus DS algo chapters is there. And I will show you some parts of the book. You may ask who has written this book. It is written by a software engineer who himself has worked in multinational companies. So he has written according to his experience and you can see he has articulated everything in a very good way. Searching algorithm sorting is there tree, graph, circular link list. And best part about the ebook is you can directly click on any link like this. For example, if I want to see implementation of BST, everything is given in detail with the code explanation, even graphical representation will be there. And uh, it is available for a very, very affordable price. Please do check out the link is in the description of this video. So, let us start with uh, today's problem. Today's problem is known as celebrity problem. Celebrity is a person who is known to all. Celebrity is a person who is known to all, but does not know anyone at a party. Okay. So there are N people uh, who are in a party and basically we are given a matrix of N cross N. What does the matrix represent? It will just tell us if the ith person knows the jth person or not. If the ith person knows the jth person, then the matrix ij is equal to 1. If ith person does not know jth person, matrix ij is equal to 0. And like uh, if ith person is compared with ith person only, for example, if first person is compared with first person, that is matrix ii is always zero. So let us understand with the example only over here. So see, we shall be using stack, okay? We shall be using stack and we will do it in O of n time. Actually, if you do this problem with brute force method, it will take O of n square time because obviously you have to traverse the entire matrix and that will itself take O of n square time. But how to do it in O of n time, we can do it with stack. So let us see how, but first before we begin, let us see what the problem is saying. So I've considered four people, the indexing is zero. They say the indexing is zero. Okay, so zero, one, two, zero at person, one, per, two, three, okay. Now this is a table. So what does it mean? See, zeroth person and one first person, zeroth person and first person, if this cell is equal to zero. That means what? Zeroth person does not know the first person, but this cell is equal to one. That means zeroth person knows the second person. So that's what it means. Okay. So matrix ij equal to one means ith person knows the jth person. So let us consider this example. In this example, we can observe that person number two does not know anybody. Person number two does not know anybody, but person number two is known by everyone. See, zeroth person knows person number two, first person knows person number two, third person knows person number two. So, he is a celebrity. Celebrity is one who does not know anyone, but everybody knows him. And don't forget that these values will always be zero. Matrix II. See, this is matrix II, right? See, this is 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. Those values will always be zero. So excluding that, see, everybody knows person number two, but person number two does not know anyone. So in this example, person number two is celebrity. So like that, we should find out who is celebrity in O of n time. So how do we approach this problem? So let us create a stack. So in the stack, we will push all the index, all the uh, people, 
So indexes are 0, 1, 2, 3. That means those many people are there and we are representing it as 0th person, 1th person, 2th person, 3th person. Okay. Four people are there and we have pushed it into the stack. So obviously you will know stack by now. It follows what? First in last out manner. So, or last in first out manner. So you can visualize how these elements will be. So zero, one, two, three, like that. So it will be in that order. Okay. Now, what is the algorithm? The algorithm is we will pop out top two elements. Let us pop out top two elements. So that will be two and three. So two and three is popped out. After two and three is popped out, we will check if two knows three. I'll repeat that we pop out the first two elements, the top two elements in the stack. So in this example, it is two and three. Okay. Now we are checking if two knows three. Does two know three? No. Two does not know three. So if two does not know three, then three cannot be a celebrity. See, celebrity is a person who is known by everyone. If two does not know three, then three cannot be a celebrity. So in this case, what we will do, our stack will change to be like this. Our stack will become 0, 1, 2. We will ignore 3. Because 3 is eliminated. It can never be a celebrity now. Why? Because it is sufficient for us to know that if one person does not know anybody, that anybody cannot be a celebrity. In this example, see, 2 does not know 3. So irrespective of how many people know 3, 3 cannot be a celebrity because 2 does not know 3. If at least one person does not know somebody, that somebody cannot be a celebrity. So we pushed it, okay, like this. You may ask me, what if two knew uh, three? What if two knew three? That means, see, two does not know three. That's why this value is zero over here in this table. So please keep this table as reference, okay? Now, if for example, for example, I'm just changing this to one. That means two knows three, for example, two knows three. If two knows three, then tell me, can two be celebrity? Celebrity is that person who does not know anyone, but everybody knows him. But if two knows three, then two can't be a celebrity. So in that case, we would not, we would eliminate two and we would put three. But here it is not like that. Two does not know three. So three can't be a celebrity. So we will put back two. Again, we will pop out two elements. So I will write this. So again, we will pop out two elements. Now, what are the two elements? It will be one and two. So now we will check if one knows two or not. See how to check if one knows two. Yes. So go to first row, second column, matrix of one comma two, matrix of one comma two, it is one. So one knows two. If one knows two, can one be celebrity? See, celebrity is a person who does not know anyone, but everybody knows him. So if we are saying one knows two, one knows somebody, that itself is sufficient for us to conclude that one can't be a celebrity. So over here again, what will happen to stack now? Stack will now become zero, two. See, we popped out one and two, but we pushed back two. Because we know one can't be a celebrity. Same thing we did with two and three. We got to know three can't be celebrity. So we eliminated it, but we pushed back two because we wanted to check if two can be a celebrity or not. Similarly, if two can be a celebrity, again, we pushed back two. 
Now again, let us pop out two elements, top two elements. So if we pop out top two elements, it is going to be uh, zero and two, right? So it is going to be uh, zero and two. Now check, does zero know two? Yes, zero knows two. So zero can't be a celebrity. So now what will happen to our stack? So our stack will only have element two, but can we conclude that two is celebrity? See, in this example, yes, we can conclude because two does not know anybody, but everybody knows two. Okay, two does not know everybody, but everybody knows two. But what if this element, this element is one, for example, instead of zero over here, let us say this element is one. We didn't check this cell at all. Which are the cells that we check? We checked this cell, we checked this cell, and we checked this cell. We didn't check this cell. This cell is zero in this example. But what if it could have been one? If it was one, that means two knows zeroth person. So if two knows zeroth person, two can't be celebrity because celebrity does not know anyone. So in the example that we have taken here now, Two does not know anybody, but there is a possibility. There is a possibility that this cell had a value one, which means two knows somebody and we did not check. So what we should do ultimately, we should finally check this entire row. Why this row? Because we have got to know that two, two can be a possible celebrity. Two can be a possible celebrity. So let us check this entire row. What should we check in this row? We should check if this entire row is zero or not. Because if any element in this row is one, that means two knows somebody else. Then two can't be a celebrity. And so we have to do this. So that is first thing. Then we also have to check this column. This column, we have to check this column such that all the elements except this cell. See, this cell is zero because two, if you are comparing two and two, it will obviously be zero because it is given in the problem only. Assume this, assume M I I is zero. So we have to check in this column if all elements excluding this element is one. Then only we can say two is celebrity. So two extra conditions were required to satisfy or to uh, completely tell that our possible celebrity that we have got over here after performing these stack operations, the possible celebrity is definitely a celebrity if those two conditions are satisfied. So we should check row and column. See, again, I'll repeat that small thing. In this example, we definitely know two is celebrity, but we have not checked this cell. What if this cell was one? What are the cells we checked? We checked two and three. What is two and three here? What is uh, one and two here? What is zero and two here? So we checked those cells only. And we concluded that two is known by everyone. We concluded only that two is known by everyone. So he can be a possible celebrity. But what if this cell is one? That means two knows somebody. So two can't be a celebrity in that case. But in the current example, it is zero here. So two is celebrity. So this is an interesting problem. And I uh, actually, uh, it was very fun for me to learn and explain it to you all. So this is how we solve the problem and uh, we have used stack. So those two conditions are extra and we have to check that. So O of n time it will take. Uh, let me show you the code. I actually code, I, I'll show you on sublime text. So the celebrity problem, we are taking a stack. After taking a stack, we are pushing all the elements from zero to n minus one because 
it is following zero index okay we push all the elements what are these elements they are the members the zeroth person first person like that then we are performing our stack operation what are we doing see until stack size is not equal to 1 that means until we get a possible celebrity see in our example we we performed the stack operations until where until we got a possible celebrity until stack size is 1 so let us perform all the operations until stack size is 1 we will take out the first two elements the top two elements and we will check see over here i instead of matrix it is c okay so it is two dimensional array c so c of x i is equal to 1 that means x knows y if x knows y x can't be celebrity so push y into the stack push back y into the stack if this condition is false that means x does not know why if x does not know why why can't be celebrity because celebrity is known by everyone and y is not known by x so it is sufficient to eliminate y so we will push back x so like this we will do and until stack size is 1 So, and then i will declare a an answer variable which is the possible answer it is not confirmed that it is going to be the answer so the only element in the stack is answer and now i should check row and column as i explained to you guys that we have to check this row see this row we have to check and this column we have to check so that is what i am doing next so next i am just doing that i am checking the row of the possible answer okay so i have declared row is answer and column is answer so basically i need that row and that column so if c of row i is equal to 1 that means this statement means what what does this statement mean this statement means that our possible celebrity knows somebody that means he can't be a celebrity that person can't be a celebrity so if i is not equal to n that means the entire loop has not ran successfully so we should return minus 1 because there is no celebrity our possible answer also was wrong so we return minus 1 so this was checking the row same thing we do for checking column also okay and when we are checking column we should keep in mind that we should not compare index i comma i we should not compare index i comma i so if both these conditions are false that means our possible celebrity is definitely a celebrity that is why we return answer finally so this is for row sorry column this much is for column and this much is for row so the video became little long but i hope you all understood the problem and solution okay and o of one space solution also there is a code but i didn't know how to explain it to you i think in that they have done recursion so recursion anyway takes some space so i don't know how it is o of one but i have explained the problem by using stack so if i submit and you want to see if it is correct or not so so it is correct and the link will be in the description solution you can check it out if you don't get it i suggest you try it by yourself it is a very fun problem so that's all for this video i hope you liked it please hit the like button share it with all your friends as much as possible subscribe it will really really motivate me and thank you for watching stay tuned take care stay safe keep learning keep growing bye